the historic village of Wycolla lies four miles east of Colne near Trodden in Lancashire. The village forms part of the Wycolla Country Park and lies in a valley known as Wycolla Dean. Wycolla Beck flows down the valley and through the village. The name Wycolla comes from the Anglo-Saxon Wick Aller, meaning the dairy farm among the older trees. You arrive in the village following a 15 minute walk from the car park to find the first of Wycolla's bridges. The 15th century Packhorse Bridge is a substantial twin arch bridge. It is sometimes referred to as Sally's Bridge after Sally Owen, mother of Wycolla's last squire. Wycolla's bridges were all built in different centuries using different construction techniques and cross Wycolla Beck. The oldest bridge, the Clam Bridge, is listed as an ancient monument. It is a simple bridge, just a single slab laid across the beck. The bridge is thought to possibly date back as far as the Neolithic period. The Clapper Bridge is also an ancient monument that was built in the 18th and early 19th century. It is formed of three stone slabs sitting on two piers. The bridge had grooves in it formed by the weaver's clogs that were apparently chiselled flat by a farmer whose daughter fell and was fatally injured on the bridge. It is also known as Weaver's Bridge or Hole Bridge. Wycolla Beck is fed from two smaller cloughs, Smithy Clough and Turnhole Clough that channel rainfall from the surrounding hills and moors. The cloughs join east of the village. The larger beck flowing down the narrow valley, through the village and onto Colne Water, which eventually joins the River Calder in Burnley. The Troden Forest area has specialised in cattle and sheep rearing for hundreds and possibly thousands of years. In the 14th century, Part of the Troden Forest area was divided into five large farm estates, known as vaccaries. The stone fence walls above the village are evidence of the vaccary farm system. The vaccary walls here are built in straight lines and constructed from large upright millstone grit slabs, with their lower sections sunk into the ground. It is thought that the walls were deliberately built with gaps to allow sheep to pass from field to field, but not cows. Wycolla Hall was built originally by the Hartley family in 1550 and extended in the late 18th century by then owner Squire Henry Cunliffe. Allegedly a keen gambler, Cunliffe borrowed money against Wycolla Hall to fund the building work. He died heavily in debt in 1818 and following his death Stones from the hall were plundered to build nearby houses and other structures. The hall later fell into ruin and is reputed to be haunted. The 16th century hall is believed to have been the inspiration for Ferndean Manor in Charlotte Bronte's novel Jane Eyre. The Bronte family lived at the parsonage in Haworth, just 10 miles away, and Charlotte would have passed through here on her way to Gawthorpe Hall in Burnley when she went to stay with the K. Shuttleworth family. Charlotte's description of Ferndean Manor when approached from the old coach road fits Wycolla Hall quite closely. By the late 18th century many of the villagers were working as home-based handloom spinners and weavers. In the 19th century the development of the power loom and the factory system led to the villagers economic decline. By 1871, all the weavers had moved to nearby towns to work in the mills. Over 35 houses were abandoned and fell into ruin, and by 1896, the majority of the villagers had moved away from the village and it was virtually deserted. In the 20th century, the village houses were modernised. Wycolla Country Park today is one of the prettiest country parks in Lancashire a haven for historians, ideal for walkers and a great place to come and explore. Why not come and see for yourself?